Hi, my name is Stephanie, and today I'm going to go over how to deploy a Node.js application on Google Cloud Platform. So in our last video, I demonstrated how to host a static website on Google Cloud Platform. So this is the static website right here. And under the portfolio section, there is a Star Wars app and it's built with Node.js and hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So I'm gonna go over the steps on how to set up a Google Cloud Platform account and also how to uh, deploy applications onto your Google Cloud Platform. So first you go to Google Cloud Platform and when you log in, you should get a homepage like this. Oops. And then um, up here in the navigation bar, you will create a project by clicking this plus sign. And then you select your project. Next, you would go to App Engine. And in this blue block, uh, blue block, blue box, it'll say your first app, and you select a language, and I'm going to select Node.js, and then you pick a region where you would want to serve your app. So normally there's a map here, but I'm on the East Coast, so I'm going to select U.S. East one. And then uh, next is enabling uh, billing. So after the app engine uh, initializes your backend services, uh, you'll have to enable billing. So it's going to take a second. So I'm going to pause the video and then come back. All right, so I'm back. And after uh, your backend service, uh, backend services are initialized, um, you'll get a App Engine Quick Start menu to the right, and it will walk you through on how to deploy a very um, simple Hello World app. So I would go through this. It's very simple. First, it tells you to open your Cloud Shell by clicking this button in the in the navigation. And if you've used a Unix terminal or Windows console, um, it's the same uh, commands. So you ls to list your directories and cd to change directories. And here it's gonna have you clone a GitHub repo, but I'm going to clone a different repo. Well, for simplicity's sake, we'll just use this one for this demo. So you just so you just copy and paste um, each of these commands into the console. Okay. And then after that, it'll um, basically give you some commands to, I guess, view the content. So cat shows you what's in the folder. And then um, each Google Cloud Platform app must have a YAML file. So if you do cat, oops. 
cat app and um, this basically tells Google Cloud Platforms how to start your app. And then you have to install your NPM packages. So um, NPM, M, NPM is Node Package Manager. So um, Node.js apps uh, need, need this in order to run. And the reason why you install it after you download your GitHub repository is that it contains um, like hundreds of files. So most people don't store them on their computer with their code, they just download it. So if you watch the console, it'll uh, take a few moments. All right, so now it's done installing NPM, and then uh, you set your port. Sorry, the video cut off. Um, I think the last thing I was saying was you set your port. So you do port or export equals and you can do 80, 80 or 80, 81 or whatever you'd like. And then you click this button right here called Web Preview and select whichever port you used. Oh, I didn't click that. Sorry. Um, after you do your export to your port number, you go NPM start. So NPM start. And it will say it'll, it is listening on port 8081. That may be hard coded. Let's see. All right. So it was on 8081. So um, when you view your website on the web preview, it'll have the content. And in this case, it just says, hello world. So after you are satisfied with your website and the preview, you deploy it onto the server. So I already did this because it takes several minutes. Um, but normally you would use the command, right here G cloud app deploy and then it gives you uh, do you want to continue you hit Y and then after that it takes several minutes and if it is successful um, it'll say done and it will tell you to use this command gcloud app browse to view uh, to get the url to view your website so gcloud app browse and it'll give you a website url right here and Right here, here's the application, hello world. So let's go back to the other um, Star Wars app. Close that. So I followed the same steps as the Hello World app. I downloaded the code from this GitHub repo, which I'll put in the description of the video. 
and then I tweaked it so it can run on um, Google Cloud Platform. So I added a YAML file. I configured the package.json file so that um, it has all the dependencies that is needed to run on Google Cloud Platform. And All right, so here is the code for the Star Wars website. And if I do npm start, it'll say it's listening on port 8081. And here it is being served locally. Uh, basically, this is a website that has each episode of Star Wars. And when you click on it, it has um, a description about uh, the episode. It's not really, it's like it's not super responsive. Um, it's mobile friendly, but for um, medium-sized desktops, it may, it may not look good. But anyways, <laughs> so uh, to deploy this, it was uh, the same steps I do. I use the command uh, G Cloud app deploy and then G Cloud app browse to view the URL. So here's the link. And this is the live website. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching.